All right, cool. I got it. So, so look, I get these song ideas in my mind, and I've somehow found a way to track. Uh, I found a way to track whole whole records inside of my mind. Like right now, I just record a whole song. Um, the hardest part is I need to come up with some type of technology to be able to take the shit out of my mind and put it on the computer. And I know somewhere in the world that they most definitely got some type of technology that could do so. I just got to find it. But I know that there's some type of technology somewhere where I can take what's in my mind out of my mind and put it on the computer. It has to be some type of technology somewhere. Most definitely has to be. Now, that's not really what I came here to talk about today. What I've came here to talk about is social division. And what I mean by social division is they have turned our fans into a Pepsi versus Coke type of thing where some people only drink either or and you know people don't fuck with the other side when they kind of ran by the same company. But they have turned our fan bases into a divided fan base. So I made a post on my Facebook page today. And a few people, not even a few, actually a lot of people, a lot of people hit me, hit the post and hit my DMs saying, where have I been? They haven't heard or seen anything from me in years. And I was like, wait, what? I go live damn near every day. And just as I was about to get mad, because I normally get mad in these type of things. Just as I was about to get mad, it clicked in my mind. I said, holy shit. I got these people so separated. The niggas who really fuck with Facebook just stay on Facebook. Like, they be in all the Facebook groups and all the multi-level layer Facebook groups and all type of shit. You can just group up. And then, you know, the people who be on Instagram, they just be Instagrammers. Like... They just really fuck with Instagram. Then you got people that be on Snapchat that just really fuck with Snapchat. Then you got people who be on Twitter that just really fuck with Twitter. Like, And I noticed some of these niggas, we're not talking about a large amount of people. We're talking about there's a select few people that don't social media hop. There are some people that find one thing and that's where they're at. Like, so I'm thinking, I'm like, yo... So these niggas don't see nothing I do. Some some dude was like, yo, bro, I can't wait till you drop another. I, I can't wait till you drop an album. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, yeah, man, like, you know, your battles are cool. I would just love to hear music from you. I, Nigga, I'm about nine projects in. What the fuck? Nigga, where the fuck you been? Nigga, I'm about nine. Actually, I got Let There Be Light. I got Light Skin, one, two, three, four. Dark Skin, one, two, three, four. Wake the Kids. Oh, nigga, where the fuck you been? But then I can't get mad at him because he been exactly where he should have been on Facebook. He been where he where he should have been. Then, then. Another thing is algorithms, right? So, bad enough, you got people who stay in certain scenarios. And then you got algorithms that don't even let your shit reach everybody in each scenario. So, when I post things on my Facebook, it tells me, do I want to boost the post? And I'm not paying, I'm not paying a thousand dollars to reach all of my, like I'm not. They're my fans. Like, they came to see me. I'm not paying you 
so my fans can listen to me. I'm not. I'm not doing anything crazy. So, yeah, like, like when, if I post something right now to my Facebook, it'll ask me, do I want to boost the post? And it'll be like, to reach 35 to reach 3,500 people is going to be like $29. And then I'd be like, all right, well, I got 60 some thousand followers on my Facebook. So to reach all 60 some thousand followers. Oh, man, y'all trying to get me. Man, I'm not paying that type of money to reach no goddamn fan. Crazy. I'm not. Oh, God. So. In those scenarios, you got to think that there's fans who only fuck. There's fans that fuck with certain social medias. Inside of fans fucking with so, certain social medias, you got the algorithms that block majority of the fans inside the social so, certain social medias. On top of that, social medias and all social medias is now censored, informationally censored. I don't even know if that's a fucking word. But it is. Social medias are sensor or informationally censored, and what I mean by that is all the quote unquote woke niggas, all they pages been motherfucking uh hacked. Right? All the woke niggas, all the niggas, half of the woke niggas pages been removed. Like we're talking about all them hidden knowledges and all that shit, all that shit been taken down, took down. But all the super knowledge pages and this is what happened back in the day all the motherfuckers all took down so you know niggas is most definitely shadow banned i know for a fact i'm shadow banned without a doubt but i know how to get through shadow banned and i'm gonna tell y'all how to get through shadow banned just get naked do all type of weird shit say you want to fuck p diddy and all type of stupid shit and that'll break through any shadow ban I was shadow banned a long time ago, a long time ago, and I was like, all right, I know how to get through this. Let me take a dookie on stage. Let me say all type of wild homo shit. Let me just do all type of stupid shit. And then I broke through the shadow band. Wow. Broke clean through it. Pew. Niggas like, yo, you heard that one nigga daylight? Nigga said he what the fuck young M.A. It's like, yes. Got him. No more shadow band for me. <laughs> Suckers. Oh God, I'm getting straight through the shadow band. Suckers! Like right now, y'all notice I've been very cool. Y'all notice I've been chill. You know, I ain't did no wild shit in a very long time. I've been trying to chill. Y'all shadow bands better stop playing with me. Oh, if you really think about it, I've been very chill for a cool minute. I ain't did no wild internet shit. You know me. You know me. You know I can take over the internet with the snap of the fingers. But I ain't been doing no wild inter internet shit because I've been chilling because I'm signed to a major label. <laughs> but I've been kind of chilling. I've been kind of chilling. And, um... You know, I realize that I can't shoot my shots now. I got to wait till I get to the Grammys and pull the antics back out. So, um, yeah, I got to chill out on the, on the antics. And when I finally get to the Grammys, I got to, you know... I gotta bring Bradley out at the Grammy, so we're so we're gonna bring up uh, Daylight to announce this award. You're gonna see Bradley up there. <laughs> My father. Oh God, they gonna shut the whole Grammys down. It is all oh, cut, cut, cut the camera. Oh God, they gonna be mad as motherfucker. They let me to the Grammy. White people, what? White power. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God, they gonna be, yeah, they gonna be bad as motherfuckers. But no, 
I've been chilling though, but I'm gonna tell you why I've been chilling. I've been chilling because I just want to show the internet. I've been trying to show the internet, and if you look at my whole career, my whole career has been a whole giant science experiment to show you guys exactly how this system works and how it's designed, right? So, um, when you really think about it, companies and labels and companies, labels, magazine companies, major blog outlets, major media sites, You can't even really call them cloud chasers because their sites depend on clicks. And we're not in the era of talent. We're in the era of click, 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 click. And in the era of click, right, in the era of actual click, this is how people get paid. We're not in the era of flyers and promos and shit like that. We're in the era of click. So the companies are going to really, they're going to really post things that, that can get clicks long as you can bring traffic to their website, a lot of traffic, they're going to post it. It doesn't matter if it's talent. It doesn't matter if it's, um, it doesn't matter if it's talent. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's none of that. It's just clicks. The more clicks you can get. So I've understood that for the longest. I've understood it's clicks, right? It's, it's clicks. And in the midst of click, right? In the midst of click, there's another thing which is pay to play. You can pay to play to get your shit on the website, so you can pay to play to get your shit on the radio, or you can, you know, you can do the PR run or the press runs and, and all that extra shit. And then everything is tied in. But I've learned over the many years that the media companies are no longer media companies. I don't know if y'all understand what I mean by that. What I mean by that is media companies are now news broadcasters. They just want the hottest news. They don't want the hottest musical content. You have you have sites that are hip hop sites that don't post anything hip hop anymore. You have sites that are hip hop sites that don't that don't post any anything hip hop related no more and nothing absolutely nothing zero you got motherfuckers posting all type of shit that have nothing to do with music okay. it just be like breaking news that's all you hear nowadays breaking news breaking news so and so breaking news breaking news like nigga what about the music Breaking news, so-and-so got into a fight. Breaking news, so-and-so got into a breakup. Breaking news, so-and-so divorced. Breaking, like, nigga, this is a hip-hop site. Where the fuck is the music? Right? This is a fucking hip-hop website. Where the fuck is the music? So you got... Everybody just, you know, they just looking for the next whatever's hot and they're going to keep feeding off whatever's hot. They don't even have to be music. So going into that, what I've been doing over the past two years is I've been very subtle. I've been very subtle with how I maneuver on this Internet world. And I've been very subtle with how I maneuver inside the realm of hip hop. And like I said, there is no such thing as like fall off or there's no such thing as none of that. There's a such thing as just do whatever you can to get back in position. Now, what I've been doing lately is I have a lot of things that's attached to me. When I say a lot of things that's attached to me, I have a lot of things that's attached to me. So I have Daylight, Vlad TV wildness that's attached to me i have uh you know daylight battle rap that's attached to me i have gang activities attached to me i have daylight the basketball player like i have a lot of things that's attached to me and the thing is combining 
all of these things into one to make people go. I respect him as a person in general. Also, I got the whole woke community. Like, like for example, you got niggas on here right now that probably don't even know I make music. No, oh, you got you got people that have found me not from music, not from nothing. They found a random, they found me on a random conscious page on Instagram talking some woke shit, right? So it's people that are coming to me from all around the globe of all type of aspects. Now I realize something, right? It's like fishing. Why throw one pole in the water? There's no point to throw one pole in the water if you're trying to catch a fish. I threw a lot of poles in the water. That sounds super pause. I threw a lot of poles in the water. Pause. Right. But yeah. I threw a lot of poles in the water. Alright, look, look, look. Let's let I wanna Look, it's 180 some people in here. How y'all found me? Let's. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. How y'all even got here? How y'all even found out about who I am? That's, that's, that's an honest question. Yo, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull some people in too, cause I wanna know. I wanna talk to y'all about how you even found the nigga. So no, nah, how y'all found me? How y'all even found out who I am or how I even exist? Don't be. Don't be. Don't be lying either. Don't try to say no YouTube nigga. Be specific. Don't say Vlad TV. Be specific. Like what moment? Be specific. Like what exact moment? Don't don't say battle rap. What moment? Like what what battle or what what exact moment? Cause some of y'all niggas gonna say battle rap, but you know damn well you was watching me take a boo-boo on stage. You was looking at my booty. So don't lie, niggas. Don't lie. Don't try to don't try to get out of this. Just keep it real, G. Keep it real, niggas talk about yeah, your battle rap. Which one? Yeah, niggas thought they were slick. Talk about yeah, I watched your battle. Yo, my man said his sister put him on. That's fire. Look, found you in the Matrix video. Third Eye, King of the Dot. It was an old battle you had. The key maker. And you can say, yo, woke IG lies. Battle versus Mike P. Vlad TV. You versus Chiller. Oops. Before you had to clap, Summer Man, you talked about the deep web, the Matrix video when X died, Daylight versus Head Ice. Found you on my third eye rap, Ab Soul. Yo, look at these comments, y'all. Look at these comments, y'all. Man, I've been fishing. <laughs> Yo, look at these comments. I've been fishing. Look, Bradley, twerking with the chopper, all type of shit. Yo, look, I've been fishing. These niggas done found me from all type of aspects. Look, look at y'all. Look at these comments. Look, everybody on some other shit. Every one of these comments on some whole other shit. Hold on. I'm going to pull somebody in here. Let me see you on the pull in here. Mm. Let me see. I'm going to pull my guy. Uh, I'm going to pull this guy in here. He looks like a killer. Let me pull this guy in here. He looks like he's ready to kill everybody. Come on, man. Yeah. What up? What up, G? He look like a killer out here. Um, <laughs> no, not quite, bro. My man said about doing? to kill everybody. I'm good, bro. What's good with you, G? Oh, not shit. 
fucking. I hate to put this on you, but may I like spit like sixteen or something for you? Man. You seem like you really appreciate. Oh, you got some. Uh, lyrics. You, know, you got some bars in the morning. Let, let me hear you, little. Let me hear what you got about the rack home. Let me hear. It. Oh fuck, man! I'm gonna have to sit my ass up for this one. I tell you what. Well, well man, you be old, man. Old, man. Old, man. Hey, pal. Hey, I got a question for you right now. Yeah, let me on the head. Is it worth living your? Is it worth living your life as a prisoner to the literature, wisdom, and words? Minister recommends a sit in church. Repent my sins, hesitant to remember the immature regrets I committed it hurts. The measurements I went to dismember the stress, but it never ends. It inhibits your thoughts, heart, and your head pulls you apart from your limbs. Darkness on the walls of this apartment again. Visitors given their ignorant opinions, considering deliberate decisions, but if they were to live in your position, they'd acknowledge your dominance is evident and present in your inventiveness like Thomas Edison. I got the agenda list, and I'm about to address the shit with all of these syllables and sentences. Fuck, dude, I, I fucking like them head nodding. May I do? May I do another one? Hell yeah, man! But hold on, Becky, Becky, get the raccoon, Becky, get the raccoon. <laughs> the All oh, right, go, go ahead. I, 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 I'm gonna take me some hyenas while I dream of a state of a higher being. Praise Allah and Jesus. I promise to keep up all of the things I need to advance in my act. Jaguars and cats within the glimpse of a flash. In my vision, I had a depiction of what the Egyptians said. The ambition to never quit a given to the test. If it wasn't for our native relation, we may have never awakened. Not a second was wasted. What is patience? The mayhem of the matrix, what we have created is a form of enslavement. Stored in the place of our minds, we're labeled at times so we can trade it for dimes. But you cannot take what is mine. I take so much pride in the gift we were given. I'm grateful for living. The abilities and traits that make us divine. Don't lose touch with that kid you imagine to do as a man that pursues passion and what interests you. Stand for what others have planned for you. You can't even pretend that you don't have an idea of when you have all these goals and aspirations. You have to chase them. Make the adaptations and have the hate in the heart because you never find yourself following yours. You wallow in the dark playing possum. Pretend to be asleep, but we all seeing that is not who you are. You do not stop and expect an ounce of respect. You stand proud and accept when, ah, diff. Yikes, got to do some exercises in the morning. No, you good. You good, G. Hey, you got some music out? I do, but dude, it's real, it's real rough. It needs it needs some fine tuning for sure. It needs fine tuning. I, um, I all honestly right. do. Uh, uh, you ever watch? I do. Uh, um, you, you ever watch? Uh, um, um, what's what's that? Becky, come here. Uh, what's that? What's that one show we used to watch? Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You ever seen that? Sure shit, sure shit. Yeah, so you know the Where one. You, going with you know the one raccoon. The one raccoon. What's the name? <laughs> Yeah, I heard he, Dude, I heard I, I heard he mixed music. You should get in contact with him. He's probably one of the best raccoons in the bayou. Uh you should get in contact no, with him. Shit. Yeah, he, he mixed, mixed, do mix and master and he did a whole uh the Peter Quill album. But yeah, Jay. I mean, I'm pretty fucking I can't I'm pretty lie. fucking broke. I'm basically What you doing? Where you live at? Don't what lie, is? don't lie. You little, oh, you try some paintings or some aliens and things. Oh yeah, man. That, I'm pretty much making my living off this, so unless, like, they want to trade fucking paintings for mixings, it's probably not going to happen. Oh, that's pretty fucking, fun. Oh, I got some wicked shit. I don't know if you like visual arts, but... Oh, yeah, let me see some of this shit. Let me see. Might have to buy some. Oh, that's amazing. That's some kind of rhino made out of wax and shit. Oh, that's amazing. You're one talented and young speaking fella. Speaking of coon, that is that, that's uh, the coon's jaw right there. That's, that's a, what that is. That's a real cool job. Oh, damn. All right, what's yeah, the, it is. Where, where you live, G? Maple Rapids. Maple Tucky. Oh, you're in Middle Tucky. All right. He got yeah. some nice drawings. Hills have eyes and all that. G? Hills have eyes and all. Uh, I get it. Compliment or be offended. Uh, get it, Becky. <laughs> Oh man! I hope. Hey, hey! You ever have a? You ever fall uh, trapped to lust? No, I've never, never seen that. Well, you better be careful, bro. This baby right here. Oh shit! She's a sexy one right there. Whoa! Right there, whoa. Look at that baby. Ooh. Oh my god! Man, you're so cool. I might have to send you one of these motherfuckers. Hell yeah! No. Check that. Oh my god! That's amazing. Hey, you into some Thanks, shit. Man. You into some shit out there in Thank Tucky. you, brother. I'm sticking my poles in the water, man. Hey, stick your poles all the way. No, don't stick your poles in that water. There's a gator in there. It's a gator. 
No, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> I'm from Michigan. We don't got no gators. We no, got I snow. Y'all got snow out there in Michigan? That's right, what it is. Well, not right now, I mean, but pretty soon, a couple of months. Well, yeah, you told you, G. Hey, look. Hey, man, the fans feeling you, man. I like this. Send me a DM, man. I most definitely want to link with you on some stuff. You got some nice art over there. Holy shit, dude. You're fucking filling my heart. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, so look, I'm going to get somebody well, else in here. Yeah, you know, send me a DM. Hey, hey, you got some bars over there, too. You keep it up. Thank you, right, dude. You I might, appreciate that. You might get some wear, G. Well, thank you. I appreciate oh, that. It fills my heart. All right. I, um, well, I, heard, I heard that grizzly bear in the background. I think that's about time for me to go. <laughs> no, he's cool, bro. He's oh, he cool. got the pet. All right. All right. Oh, yeah, of course. All right. Yeah, oh, let, yeah. me, let me get somebody else in here. G, send me DM. I had to buy some of that art from you. All right, man. Peace and love. Right. Peace love. And fuck. Yeah. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. Ain't no more live. It's over. It's about it. Uh, Raccoon Enterprise. Whew. Yo. I told y'all I got one of the most greatest followings on the face of the earth. I got one of the best followings ever, dog. Like, ever. I don't think nobody on the face of the earth got a a type of following that I got. (laughs) Okay? My man had a raccoon chin on the picture. All right? (laughs) Okay? I don't think nobody on the face of the earth got a vast type of following like I got. Yo, I got street niggas. I got raccoon painters. I got I got, like, young, woke niggas. I got, oh, man. Hey, that just made my day. That just made my, I can't even lie, man. That that actually made my day, man. Because, like, sometimes I don't be thinking people like that exist. I be like, "It's it's all a movie. Only people like that exist in the movies. Nah, nigga. They real. (laughs) <laughs> no, nigga, they real. <laughs> oh man, my boy, <laughs> my boy from one of them houses. You know where you drive it in the middle of the road, and you you, you get a flat tire, and he come out the bushes. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, you want to come over here and hear some raps? Oh yeah, come on in for dinner. No, for real. Uh, make yourself at home. Oh, God, you see a big old nigga like Lurch walk by. Ding dong. Talking about, man, who that? Oh, that's my brother. He don't bother anybody. You know, you get your ass down there in the basement. Yes, Paul. <laughs> All right. You want to see my paintings? Oh, yeah, you paint. Uh, let me see some. Right here, this is an octopus toe. I use the octopus toe and use the blood of the octopus to paint a Jason mask. It's amazing, ain't it? Yeah. Hey, Becky, could you lock the door? Just to make sure nobody comes in. Lock the door? What you mean? You know, we just like to be safe because, you know, there's a lot of things happening around here, killings and things, and people come up missing and stuff. But, you know, I, we, we never had any problems. So people come up missing around here and you never had no problem? Yep, we never had no problem. None of our family members came up missing. So, what you into? You want something to drink? Hey, no. Think it's about time for me to go. You're not going anywhere. You sit your ass down right there and drink some of this blood. (sighs) Well, fuck it. Uh, I ain't even about to make this a hassle. I've seen what happened in the scary movie. Y'all like to torture people when they scream, so I'm going to just go along with it. Kill me. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. I'm a, where the knife is, I do it myself. I ain't about to let y'all t- Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Michigan, uh, Michigan Chainsaw Massacre me. Oh, God. The Red Dead Redemption looking at it. 
Y'all ain't about the Michigan Chainsaw Massacre me, oh God, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Fuck it, let's get this out the way ASAP. And I ain't about to be playing with y'all niggas, you crazy. Oh God, I'm not about to be playing with no Michigan Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, hey, that'd be a cold movie, huh? Because you know. You know the one. You know, like on those fucking Texas Chainsaw Massacre things, it's normally white people that stop at random abandoned houses. But imagine black people, like a car full of black people. No, that'd be hard. Car full of black people. Come on, cuz. Feel me, nigga. We on our way to Vegas, nigga. Ooh. Oh man, I think we got a flat, cuz. Fuck, man. You see that house over there? Hey, bro, my nigga. I don't give a fuck if we got a flat or not on God. We not going up. Man, you seen all the scary movies? Dumbass nigga, drive. Oh, man, we driving on full flats to Vegas, bitch. We not stopping in no middle of no desert. What's wrong with you? Hey, bro, I can't I can't drive like this. My nigga, it's a rental. Oh, God, I got bad credit already. You don't fuck the whole renter up, stupid. My nigga, we got to stop. What you scared for? Oh, God, I got hands. I'm not worried about no Texas Chainsaw Massacre, nigga. I got hands. Fuck you mean on oh God. All right then, let's go in there and see what it is. So we knock on the door. Dun 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 dun. Nobody answered. Said, told you they not here. Oh God, the door open up. <laughs> now you know the homies. <laughs> you know the homies. We automatically thinking, oh God, it might be some stuff in there we could steal. <laughs> oh God, we thinking about flocking. We thinking about flocking the haunted house. Oh, God. Homie talking about, oh, God, you see the TV? Oh, God. It, man, that's a flat screen. On hey, man, let's go in there. Oh, God, we inside the haunted house flocking. Niggas stealing all type of magic potions and all. Oh, God. Come on, man. We about to here. Hurry up. Oh, God, the door closed. Boom. Oh, shit. God, we got to go to the back door. Run. God, we run it through the house. My mom, the big old Texas Chainsaw Massacre nigga come out with the motherfucking gun. <laughs> Homie talking about, man, pop him. Oh, God, we going for the pop. Man, we ain't about to be fighting with no nigga with no Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, God, shoot him ASAP. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, God, now Texas Chainsaw Massacre on the ground. Dead, he dead, did the bitch. We talking about what we going to do, cuz we just killed somebody. <laughs> oh, God, the police coming. Oh, my mama, the police. <laughs> Come on, with your hands up. Talking about, man, we were just, we were just, huh, man. So then uh, we come outside, oh, God, they get the arresting us, all that. We in the backseat of the car. They talking about, yep, they killed Texie. Yep, they killed him. He's dead. What are we going to do with him? Yeah, you know, Texie been around here for about 75 years. Just He don't even hurt nobody. He just like to play with his chainsaw. We just left him in here to play with his chainsaw. He ain't never even killed nobody. They broke into his house. So now we in jail for breaking into a horror house and killing the monster. This is CC. What happened with black people always want to fuck with shit. <laughs> Oh, God, now we in the middle of jail doing 25. Nigga talking about what you in here for? Oh, God, I killed the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They put me in jail. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh my nigga gonna be in jail for life for killing one of their favorite movie stars. <laughs> oh, God, black people can't catch a break. Oh, my mama, we can't catch a break for nothing. It's like, oh, God, there's no way we can win. We in jail for life for killing a killer. Oh, my mama. No, nah, that'd be a cold movie, huh? Hey, yo, my mind, I got a cold mind, huh? Like, my mind just be off the fly with all type of crazy shit. No, nah, I might have to go write that down. I got a lot of movies that I be wanting to do. My boy said a raccoon type of beat. Oh, my nigga. Hey, he, he should make a song called I Got Racks. Oh, God, but he got a bunch of raccoons to his ear. I got racks. I got racks. That'd be a cold move. That'd be a cold song, huh? 
I got racks. Oh, God, he got to be in the middle of the bayou with a whole raccoon to his ear. I got racks. I got racks. I got racks. Oh, God, raccoon going to be biting the nigga ear and all that. Oh, God, it's all right. Just a little blood. Just a little blood. Just a little blood. It's all right. Just a little blood. Just a little blood. Just a little. Got racks. I got racks. God, that'd be a whole hit. I got racks for the coons. I got racks for the coons. That'd be a hit. Wow, that'd be a whole hit. That's a whole hit record right there. Don't sleep on the racks, my mama. Hold on, man. Hey, I'm about to pull one more nigga up, man. Don't be thinking y'all niggas can rap. Because as soon as a nigga asks me about some rap shit, I'm going to get your ass up out of here. My man named Tone Beats. Nope. You already about to try to play some beats, so I ain't trying to hear it. Nope. I'm going to pull up Tone Beats anyway. Come on, Tone. Don't be trying to play your beats, dog. I ain't trying to hear him. No, no, no beats, bro. No, good morning. No, I'm, fuck, good morning. I'm, fuck, I'm fuck with you, G. Good morning, man. How you just doing? Here, so. What's good, G? What you on, big dog? Oh, man, just up. You ready to, you ready to hoop, man? Thought she was ready to you ball. About to hoop. Hoop. Where you about to hoop at? Right here off Holly Park, 120th. Hey, 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 right, right behind, right behind uh, 24-Hour Fitness, right? Yeah, right here. Yep. What, what, what time they be up there? Oh, uh, we up there right now. They got boxing, basketball. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm going to have to pull up. Pull up, man. I'm gonna have to pull. What 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 days they be up there? Like every we day there. or we up there every day. Like like around this time. What time is it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull up there, man. I'm gonna have to pull up. Okay. I, I ain't I ain't been over there in about about a good five years. Hey man, that's the beauty of it. They got a new court. Oh, that's fire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pull new up court. over there, big dog. Shit, you ain't nice though. Talk I'm six. I'm you. six yeah. eight. What that mean? That don't mean you nice. I know a lot of niggas six eight. 330 pounds? That ain't nothing. That don't mean nothing. I'm okay. dunking on that. Okay. I'm dunking on that. And I'm fast. I'm dunking on you like a Zion type of type I of I mean, player? look at my page, bro. I'm, I'm going. I'm going after this. I'm going. Okay. One o'clock, we start boxing. I, I right box at, too. Right at, the, right at the basketball. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got my Mayweather on. Okay. Mayweather. Mayweather. You hear me? I see you. I see you. I don't, I don't know how to box that good. I just run the whole whole. So I figure if you don't never touch me and I don't touch you, then we even. We both win. Well, practice <laughs> practice that practice that one. Um, Manchester and Broadway come up to the park because you know, mm. the gym the gym's closed with the COVID nineteen. Hey, so it's all good, man. Look, just practice. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yes, G. sir. Yes, sir. Most definitely. Yo, hit me in the DM too, dog, because I'm gonna have to pull up because I really need to play basketball for real. For oh real. yeah, we we gonna do that. We gonna do that. All right, all right bro, hit me, bro. Let me pull some up, somebody else up. Cool, man. All right, bro. Mayweather. Really? Oh God, my man, six twelve. Oh God, he tried to dunk on me. Takes a chainsaw basket. Look at that. All right, let me pull one more nigga up real quick, because you niggas. All right, let me see what he got to say. Stop the genocide. Wake up. Let me see. I'm ready to talk some conscious things. <laughs> Yo. And the power. The power will be in the genocide of the consciousness. All right. All right, come on. Yo, man, I wasn't expecting this at all, man. Yo, what's up, G? Yo, I'm from Belgium. Well, hey. What time is it? You you there right now, or are you from there? Yeah, I, I'm right now in Belgium. What time is five it? Five o'clock. Oh shit! Five, five, yeah. Five o'clock. Wait, yeah. five five p.m. or five a.m. Um, five in in the evening. Okay. Hey, my boy in Belgium. How you living out there, big dog? <laughs> it's pretty dead here, man. People are sleeping here like nowhere else, man. Yeah. Real. Yeah. Fire, fire. So what's up, dude? Talk to me. What's going on, man? Let me know some. Yeah, man, it's crazy. I, I've been like spiritually minded for like a year and a half mm -hmm. and a half now, mm -hmm. and I've been very deep. And whoa, like 
Yeah, man, there's a lot of crazy stuff in this matrix. Yeah, it's a lot. Then what the eye, for sure. It's a lot, huh? It's a lot, huh? Especially when you start really finding out what's going on, huh? Yeah, man. I, I was, I was like being gang stalked too and shit. But I, I, at first, I, I thought all these people were crazy, but they're definitely not crazy, man. There's some truth to it. Yeah, it's a lot of truth to the crazy people, man. Um, yeah. You know, uh. When you when you see a when you see a guy outside just talking some crazy ass shit, sometimes stop and talk to him and see what the fuck he talking about, bro. Yeah, man. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, man. That's real. Like if you ever come to L.A., if you ever come to California and you see a dude on the corner talking about, go holler, at him. <laughs> go holler at him. You feel me? He, he, I mean. he, he trying to talk to the the guy, so go holler at him. But just make sure you put your wallet and all that stuff in the car. But go holler at yeah. you. you feel me? I got I got some organized. Oh, I see you over there. You feel me? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, man. What's your opinion on this whole COVID thing? Do you think it's going it's going to last for a long time? Uh, nah, Social distancing? No, nah, it's going to last forever. It ain't never going to end. <laughs> yeah. It's never going to end. It's never going to end. I'm about to start a whole gang out of it. COVID crib, six feet. We going to press you from six feet away. Hey, stand right there six feet and throw your wallet over here, dog. I can't get close to you to rob you. <laughs> throw your wallet over here, big dog. COVID crib. Yeah, man. No, COVID ain't going nowhere, dog. This the way life going to be. Get used to it. I like it. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Yeah. It doesn't bother me just like. Meeting up with friends, they can like give us fines and stuff now. Yeah. So that's not that's not cool. No, that's it's cool. Getting, hey, it's look. getting nice out and stuff. So. Look, man, I'm gonna keep it real with you, man. Like, this COVID shit gonna help a lot of people. Now you can't fuck none of your side bitches, so you gotta be faithful <laughs> to wifey. Uh, you feel me? You don't got no stupid ass homeboys influencing you. You just focus on yourself. And I think that's kind of what people yeah, needed yeah. to do. You feel me? People was out here wilding too much. So now it's time for people to sit in the house and focus on themselves and get their own self right. So this is a time yeah, for man. people. It's a time for people to tap in with themselves, bro. So use it as a time to really tap in with yourself. Yeah, and really, true. really study. Really take time to study. Really take time to go down the rabbit hole. And then, yeah. you know, from there, it is what it is. I did that already. I, I went a little too deep. It's sometimes it can get to your head, man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like uh, it's like uninstalling the program. Like if you got, if you got, if you got certain uh operating systems installed in your, like if you got Windows installed on your computer, then you try to install Sierra on on top of your computer. Like it's gonna malfunction. Yeah. So. That's kind of what yeah. it is. You feel me? It's I, just I've got some malfunctions already. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I I know. G, I, 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 I can feel it. I can feel it. But yeah. you good? You gonna get through it? You feel me? You understand? Yeah. And you know the best thing. The best thing for it is like, it's two different type of deeps, right? So you got, you got, you got. Hey, I get it. What's going on? And then you got, you got white people deep. Like your deep is different <laughs> because you can go deep, yeah. deep. It's a lot of things you can go and learn and learn yeah. about I, I, history. I've and... learned white history and it's fucked up, man. For real, like, bro, I, I don't, I don't agree to any of these things that my ancestors did. Cause it's really fucked up, man. It's, like, it's really... Trust me, but see, I'm gonna break it down to you. This is why the movie The Matrix is so important. All right, so people, people always say that Neo is the one. And people always think that Neo is the one. People think Agent Smith is the one. People think all these random people is the one. Fucking Morpheus is the one because Morpheus knows that he has to wake up people like you so you can tell the world exactly what the fuck really happened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's it. It's but really... I, I, I woke a lot of people up, though. That's nah, true. it's most like, definitely. It's my only intention, too. You know, I, I have nothing about this if... No, nobody else knows what I know, you know? Yeah. I need to spread my, my knowledge, you know? Yeah, most definitely. make people question stuff and shit. Nah, most definitely, most definitely, G. But what I want to do say is the fact that you're on the path to trying to make a difference and telling people what's up, that shit is amazing because in all actuality, 
there's not a lot of white people that want to do what you do. And you actually take a big risk doing this Thank shit, you, bro. Yeah, it's a know, risk, bro. It's like, it's like me, right? Like, I'm from a gang. And if I turned my back on my whole gang, like, that's scary, bro. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's a scary thing. Like, if I was like, fuck y'all niggas, y'all motherfuckers are the killers. They'd be like, oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, all right, cool. We'll kill your ass now. So I understand, bro. I understand this. It's a hard thing. Like, it's a hard thing, yeah. especially being, like, a white person. It's a hard thing to say, hey, man, this shit's fucked up. Mm -hmm. It's hard. It's hard yeah. to do. You feel me? You got family members. You got cousins. You got all type of people that still go along with shit. So, you know, it's hard because I'm pretty sure you get, you might get backlash. You might get all type of yeah. whatever yeah. it comes from this. So, mm -hmm. I just want to tell you, appreciate it, bro. Most definitely appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. I appreciate you a lot too, man. Most definitely, yeah. G. Most definitely. All right, man. Well, let me get somebody else up in there, man. Appreciate right. it, big dog. Bye, man. All right, Yo. bro. Ah, it's real nigga shit, bro. Nah, it's real nigga shit. And, you know, I, I tell people, this is why I, I keep a lot of white friends. And y'all might say, yo, they like, you be wilding on the white people. Now, I got a lot of white friends. I'm going to tell you why I got a lot of friends. White friends are like, what you call it? They're like Mario mushrooms. You know, when you're when you, when you running out of life and you got to get the mushroom. That's what white friends are like. They're like Mario mushrooms. So whenever I get into any type of altercation, when I get into any type of altercation, like I'm talking about, if I'm out and about, right? I just have my white boy stand up for me. Oh, God. White boy's coming there. Oh, listen here, officer. Let me talk to you. We were just walking. We didn't have anything to do. We wasn't really around. You know, my father, my father, my father works for the justice system. And, um, you know, I just want to tell you, this is my black friend. And we're just going to go on about our business. They'd be like, all right, little Jake. You're right. I'll call your father later on. Let them guys know you got into a little incident, but you know everything's gonna be all right. Oh God, I use the white niggas like Pokemon cards. Oh God, Jason, attack now! Oh my mom, I use them like full Pokemon cards. Oh God, I get into the police. I get into a situation with police. I be looking through my cards. Jason, power level. Lawyer, 99% lawyer, 40% active health. Uh, no, I can't use Jason. Uh, oh, God, I'll be throwing them bitches like Pokemon cards. Fuck you, me. Oh, my mama. What? <laughs> oh, mama, you get all type of special abilities when you got white friends. Oh, God. Oh, my mama, look. Best reason to have white friends. You get all the Airbnbs when you get white friends. Oh, God. No, they don't even second guess it. Oh, God. I'll be like, yo, hey, Joe, Jake, get this Airbnb for me. Jake, hello, my name is Jake. I was just wondering if I can have the Airbnb. Oh, sure, Jake, why not? Oh, God, they don't have no problems giving you the Airbnb when you name Jake. Bitch, I can't get no Airbnb. You ever, you think I can make an Airbnb profile? They go look at me with this big ass face that, hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, that nigga ain't coming to the house. Bitch, I cannot, I cannot get no Airbnb with this big ass face tattoo. Oh, they go, hell no, nah, I got to use the OB Jake. Well, Bubba. All right, let me see who else I can pull up real quick. Damn, this nigga's in here deep. Niggas trying to get they shine right now, huh? Look, my boy named his shit COVID Crip. You just we just want me to pull you up, huh? Damn. My nigga created a whole new account just to name his shit COVID Crip so I could pull him up. Damn, you a cold nigga for that. Damn, G. All right. No, because look, I'm selective. I'm selective with how I do this. Let me see. Let me see. Who look like they're going to be a very interesting character. 
Oh, oh no, I ain't pulling up no black people today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the black people. Y'all ain't getting no love today. Nope. I ain't oh, pulling up no black people. Good Yo, what's good, G? What's good, G? How's it going, bro? Squaw, yeah. squaw, squaw. What up, bro? What's good, bro? What you on, G? Shit, I'm chilling right now. I'm playing GTA. Hey, oh, you got a whole clan on there or what? Nah, I be doing shit solo, bro. Hey, I feel you. That's how I be. Generate dude. my revenue. Hey. So what's the word, man? Shit, I'm just chilling right now, making some shit. making some plays on the GTA, uh, making music. Oh, okay, okay. So what's up? Talk to me. You got some time. What you want to say? Anything that's on you, big dog? Damn, this shit is crazy, bro. I didn't even think this was going to happen. You just you just test your luck, huh? Yeah. Um, hey. I could holler at you in the DM. I'd be making music and shit. Oh, that's what it is. Hey, hey, anybody ever told you you look like you belong in the movie Twilight? Nah. <laughs> yeah, bro. You look like one of them. You got powers. You got some magic. I know you got magic, G. Don't lie. Nah, I ain't got no magic. Come on, G. You can't just... fly? Nah, I wish. Come, put put the controller down. Fly across the room, G. Don't lie to me, G. <laughs> I ain't Come got no on, powers, G. bro. You got... You can't say you can't say you don't got no power, dog, because I I pulled you up in the live, so you manifested this. You got I some did. power. Dude. I did. I mean, I did that, but like, I didn't think it was gonna happen. No, you got some power, G. Don't lie. You got I just power. Got mine. That's it. You got some power, dog. I know you got anybody with a little swoop hair like that. You got some power, G. I know <laughs> the power. No, I don't know, bro. Let me let me see your muscle, G. I see you ain't got no shirt on. Let me see your muscle, G. Damn, you, I know you got some muscle. Come on, G. <laughs> Look, I told you. See, that's the power or G. Let's go. I told you, G. You out here. Yo, Yo somebody said right, like Lord Farquaad. That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, I know you got the power, G. But look, on the flip side. You said you do music. I'm gonna give you an opportunity, dog. Not for real, no, no, funny, no funny shit, bro. Nah, no uh, funny shit, dog. All, all jokes. Look, I fuck with everybody. I pull up. G, ask White Mike. You see White Mike down there? Ask nah. White Mike. I fuck with everybody that pull up, dog. Send me a DM, dog. I'm gonna check your shit out and I'm gonna holler at you, bro. Would I appreciate it, bro? Thank you. Most definitely. All right, stay up, my G. All right, bro. You too. Thank you. Yo, look. Got to keep people like this on your side, dog. My niggas got powers. Damn, look at all the black people. Y'all niggas begging for an opportunity, huh? I ain't pulling up none of you niggas. Look at all these black niggas. Hey, man, where the white people at? Man, hey, white people, send me some more things. Where the white people at, man? I ain't pulling up no black people. Stop asking me. Look at all these niggas. Daylight, please give me a chance, G. I just, no, y'all niggas don't got enough character, man. I, I like the white people. They got more character than y'all. So I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Want me to tell you why I like when I pull white people up? Because they, they don't never try to fake it. You know, black niggas always want to get pulled up and get aggressive. Yo, what's good? Daylight, what's the deal, bro? Man, if you don't cut it out, man, you better talk to me like a regular thing. You know, black people always got to have this cool thing about, yeah, what's good, bro? You know, you know, nigga just, you know, nigga just making some beats. You feel me? That's why I like pulling up the white people because they be they real self. Like, my man had a raccoon mouth on the painting. Okay. Okay. My man had an actual raccoon skull on the paint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He had an actual <laughs> he had an actual coon jaw on a poster. <laughs> on God. I can't make this up. Okay. I can't make this up. My, my man had an actual coon jaw on a poster. Okay? If you ain't competing with a coon jaw, all right, we had my, my boy Woke Wokey, Woke Terry from Belgium. We had my boy, my boy Lord Voldemort, Voldemort. 
then we have my my boy Big Racks. My boy Big Racks. My boy Big Racks had the raccoon poster. Look at these characters. Then we have my big six eight boy. He want to do black people things, play basketball and shit. Damn, nigga, I'm trying to. I be playing basketball all of my whole life, man. I want to hear some raccoon. Oh god. Hold on, man. Let me pull up. All right, I'm gonna pull up a black person, man. Come on. Since you always wanna, hey, you gonna base things off skin color? Oh, think it. Oh, oh, my profile. Oh, my profile. It can't be based on my profile. Oh, black will feel me for me. I'm mad. Appreciate it, y'all. I just wanted to, wanted to ask a question real quick. Yo, what's good, G? Uh, uh, I brought it up to a lot of people. Nobody hey, really yo, yo, gets. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, real quick. Yeah, you, you doing the real black nigga shit? You know, black niggas like to get on live and walk. Black yeah. niggas oh. get on live and walk in a circle. Yo, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> yo, my son said, hold on. Let me tell you. Hold on. Let me show you. No, 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 because it's really how I am. But I'm, a, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a, just level it down. You give me, I'm gonna be the real, real me. I done asked it. like five times. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. But on some real shit, let me ask you. Since you yeah, your G? What's See, good, uh, G? In it. You get me? So, like, like, let's watch this. Um, um, I'm not going to get into my whole life or whatever, but, I mean, just a woke question. Uh, um, uh, you know how we're mostly water, right? Yeah, what's good, G? Okay, okay, okay. You know how, like, say, you know, when there was less people, there was Pangea, there was a whole bunch of water, supposedly everything was connected, and there was more water at a time, right? But there was less people, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Say half the world would have died tomorrow, right? And then say mm -hmm. it was, like, 150 degrees outside, would it be, would, would, would a flood happen? Because, I mean, everybody would dehydrate. There'd be water that's in all of us, right? I mean, do yeah, you think yeah, that yeah. water disappears because there's more people? You feel me? Or yeah. If there's, more, there's less water, right? Because water does, we use the same recycled water. Yeah. We shit over and over and over. We're drinking Hitler. We're drinking all the dead people right now. You get me? I mean, oh, that's kind of crazy. That's a crazy thought. Think like, of, like that. You get me? So, like, when there was a flood, with, with if you believe in the Bible, you know, I believe in certain things in it, but I don't believe in the whole thing as a fool. But, like, 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 if you believe in the time with, like, you know, the dude with the boat, you get me? Um, um, if that's the case, it's because everybody was dead. How long did they die in the flood or was it before the flood? You get me? I've noticed in every story where they say that there's only a few people, there's a lot of water. You yeah, there's for a real. Lot. But then when there's a lot of people, there's no water. You get me? There's, there's like, a, no. uh, we... And then that's when they say, that's what they say, like, we need to have only a certain amount on this planet because it, it hurts the earth. You get me? Like, we have, uh, if we have too many cows, their farts actually are hurting our ecosystem. You get me? No, We're not supposed to have massive right. cows. You get me? If you go into, uh, uh, if, if we kill all the, the, the mosquitoes, it'll, like, bats and everything will go everywhere. Like, I live in Fraser Park. You feel me? It's in California. It's just because it's a little bit safer than L.A. But, but uh, 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 you feel me? Like, like out here, there's bats, bro. There's bats. That's why they'll go right in your face. You feel me? At nighttime. So, like, like uh, if we were to kill all of the mosquitoes, like, I guess they would go and they would, like, look for other things. You get me? Like, there's a balance to things. You get me? And so... It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the evolutional food chain, or not even the evolutional chain, but the evolutional, evolutional sink of how everything is synced in from bees to flies... Dude, yeah. why why the spiders eat? Why spiders even make spider webs? Because if there was no spider webs, there would be moths and fucking beetles and everything's flying everywhere. So I get it. I most definitely get it on the it's evolution it. of change. Right? And like one more thing, you know how they say everything's everything? Well, I didn't really get it up until they said, "Well, I did ask you." you feel me? But I mean, I can't really explain that to people. But like, like if you think about it, you know how like a rock, right? And then there's yeah. there's three, right? The two completely different things, even with like physics, they're, they're a different number. Right, but yeah. like, like, like the atoms. I mean, the atoms and protons and blah blah blah. What I'm trying to get at is, is that there's petrified wood, which is a rock, but it's actually wood. Just over time, turns into like a diamond is coal. It's completely two different protons, yeah. you know, atoms or whatever the fuck smart words, smart nigga words. You get me? But like, um, but over time they end up becoming the same thing. You get me? Like we become, we're water. You get me? We'll evaporate. We'll become a cloud partially. They will turn into dust. You get me? So are we walking on, like, like, like? I don't know. I just think it's interesting. Like, are all rocks trees? You get me on like and like and like so mountains where they, you know, there's big ass mountains where they look like they're stumps to a, uh, to a, uh, like like they're stump like they're stump like someone yeah. cut them, cut them yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. The religions and other stories and tales it was because like we're supposedly we're hybrids from something else. We're monkeys. 
and uh, uh, there was these giants. You know, and even in religion, the Bible, they talk about giants. Yeah, 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 like Jack and the Beanstalk but and all that shit. Yeah. It's dead. You get me? So, like, it's not, it's not odd. You get me? Like, it doesn't sound crazy. It sounds crazy that people don't think about it more. You get me? Like, how does yeah. a compass work? You know, like a compass, they say, oh, because the electronic, like, gravity isn't even a fact. You get me? Um, uh, there's, uh, uh, gravity varies in the place where you're at. Even on this earth, I can stand sideways on a wall at certain tourist attractions because, uh, uh, yeah, gravity, like the one, the one up north, like gravity two. falls. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 like that. But it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, uh, it's crazy because you know one plus one equals two, so that means it's absolute. It, it it doesn't matter the language where you're at, the place. You know, so it's not law. You get me? Like gravity, you can look it up. Most people think gravity is a thing. It's not really a thing. It, you know, like, and that's why I think everything's placebo. This 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 whole disease thing is placebo. Like, how does it? If that's the case, Skid Row, bro, should be a crime. It should be death scene. I, there should be, just, there should be people all up on that bitch dead. They should yo, be I, dead. I, I just left from Skid Row. I was filming a video down there for the past good, week. They're all good. <laughs> I was just down there a few days ago. They're all good. They're all yeah. good. So, like, crazy to me is is that for whatever reason, it's hurting athletes. It's hurting uh, people that are the most fit condition in their whole life. You get me? Like, and for whatever reason, they're the ones that are being, like, affected by this whole thing. I think, if anything, they're killing people by making people stay inside because it's hurting their immune systems. People already do drugs. You get me and do a whole bunch of stuff. So the immune systems aren't good anyways. You get me? Yeah. But like, 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 I think them having to stay away from everybody and put on Purell every five minutes, they're like, they're destroying the whatever, like, immune system that they had left to fight with. It's just the regular shit. It sounds yeah. like it. You get me? Yo, I got it's, a question. I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Like, how long, how long have you been on this, like, journey of understanding? Like, look, watch, listen, bro. I was, I was broke, poor, had nothing. Uh, uh, when I was 22, gonna be 23, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I turned 23, which is an interesting number for me. Um, and then um, I did acid because I was at the lowest of my low. You give me, I had my daughter, yeah. my girl, whatever, plop, plop, plop. This dude, after my trip, just gave me a car, a fucking RV, plop, 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 a whole bunch of shit on a piece of land. You give me, I was like, oh, okay, lit. Got, uh, I met up with some industry cats because uh, I rap. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, dude, I, I uh, linked up with Eminem's people or whatever. Robert Reyes, he did that one track or whatever, fucking, uh, like, everything just started working out. I linked up with Roscoe from DPG. Yeah. Uh, he's my bro. He fucking, he hella, he's got me where I am right now. And uh, got to, you know, show love to the roots. And uh, so, like, you know, they got me. I've been around French and a lot of other niggas or whatever, but it was after doing acid. I was talking mm -hmm. to him, like, talking to you. And um, they kept me around because I went in with a lot of other rappers. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I've been around with, like, Boost made a track with R. Kelly before that whole scandal and shit. He gave me like, 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 uh, all these, all these cats. I have a lot of stories. Uh, I can't with Jay, but you know, a lot of cats, but it was all based off of me doing drugs. You give me, mm -hmm. uh, it changed my mindset. You give me like the whole sky turned into like stop signs, like hexagon, uh, octagons. Yeah. But everything, I knew everything was connected because there were strings connected from like, like little, everything was like computer green. You yeah. me like, like it was a, it was weird, bro. And then, uh, no, nah, because like, my, I felt my like boy was talking to me with our brain. It was crazy, but I, I'm not crazy because, you know, science will say a lot of those things like the walls are moving. Well, that's physics, the law of motion. Nothing's, everything's in constant motion. I just, it just taught me through like a, a psychedelic way. You get me? Like, I would yeah. say I know a lot of physics without ever had to have even gone to school for it. Just look yeah. it up on, and I'd watch you a lot, bro. You so know, look, so like, so look. me on thinking, you know, so, I would say. So look, so what, what? What I what I could see based on this, I went to school for psychology. Like I'm a college graduate of psychology, so I, I really study human beings. I understand human beings. What I could tell right now, just based off hearing you speak, your mind is on one thousand percent process. Like it's processing everything. Like working, bro. That's, that's it's like man, I'm not I'm not really trying because I know there's a lot of people on here that think it's gonna be like, oh, I do drugs. It's got, nah, it's like, it's like with an intent, like you gotta, I was already like, uh, me and my brother, I, and no one can prove this to anybody, I can't prove it to y'all, but me and my brother know it's real because when we were young, I said, yo, what if life was like a video game? Because we felt people weren't real, the responses were really generic, everything felt really easy, you get me? And so like, we were just like, uh, what if people weren't real? You get me? Like, oh man, that's crazy, you know, like, and then, um, you know, now going in, and me being like, I'm 25 now, you know, me seeing how it is now. It it's it shows me, bro. Like I was onto something at a young age. You gave me no, some. No, 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 no. You most definitely look. 
Look, real nigga shit, because I see people in the comments saying all type of wild shit, like, don't do drugs uh, no. and shit like that. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you some shit. Look, my father smoked actual crack rock, bro. Like, I seen yeah. my father smoke crack rock in the pipe like Pookie, right? Yeah. And the shit that my father knows and the shit that my father seen and the shit that he understands and how he understands his life, like... I tell people this about drugs all the time. Drugs could take you to different places that this regular realm won't take you to. Right? Yeah, it's crazy. And based on how you perceive the world and based on how you see the world, it can open your mind up. What I see from your own personal experience and based on me judging you, your mind is open without a cap. Like it doesn't have a cap. It doesn't have a, the line stops right here. Like there's been times. And I tell people this, like, I never did acid. I never did drugs, right? No, but, bro. but but look, I'm going to tell you, I'm so tapped in that I'm already there. Like, I understand how to release these fucking dopamines and shit inside of me, right? So there's times where I'll just look at a leaf and I'll go, holy shit, the leaf has arms inside the leaf. But then that whole thing is like a solar panel, like the leaf. The little filler part is like a solar panel. But then those little arms are like electric wires that draw the fucking energy from the solar panel down the root of the fucking tree or down the root of the leaf. And then the arm from the leaf goes into the tree. And then there's multiple leaves on it. Like, I sit and think about this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can understand where your mind is, bro. And to me, it's amazing. Like, for the most part, like, if you were on a, on a typical corner talking about, like, Pangea and shit like that, half of these people in these comments will probably walk by you like, oh, that nigga crazy. Me, oh, yeah. That's how it me, was. What's for a long <laughs> Me? Me? I'll sit there and talk to you for hours, bro. Yeah. Because I get it. I know it's hard to explain to people this world when your mind, like, when you take the cap, like, we all grew up with, like, a governor and limiter. So when you take that cap off, and it don't matter how you take it off, like, right? You can take it off from drugs. You can take it off from fucking accidentally bumping your head on the wall. You can get yeah. into a dramatic accident. You can get shot. You get stabbed. It's things that happen where people go through a traumatic time in their life where the fucking cap removes, bro. And yeah. and when that cap, you you, you said you 25? Yeah, bro, 25. Yeah. Bro, look, bro. When I was at 25, my mind wasn't able to process all this shit, right? Like, I knew a lot, but I was like, man, I can't think about all this shit, man. This shit's spooky. People gonna call me crazy, all it, type of shit, bro. Oh, but me talking about it, like, I realized, like, you know how talking to me, like, like talking how I've been talking. Like, I don't, I haven't done, like, a, I haven't done, like, I noticed it puts me in position, like, to things, like, and, and the weird thing is, is, like, everybody's connected, like, what I'm realizing, bro, is is like the people that I've met in the industry are the same people that have liked me through some some fake profile, and they're like, uh, uh, and they're connected to the people I grew up with. You get me? Like, and yeah. I'm from, actually, I'm from Chicago, but yeah. I've lived in Oklahoma City, and I've lived in Washington, I've lived in El Paso, Texas, Houston, and now I'm here in California. You get me? Like, so now so, you're on a journey, dog. Like, you got you got a journey, dog. You get me? Like, and it, and it makes me feel like. It's not real. You get me like, and I notice when I keep thinking like, you know, I keep that mindset. And I just keep it like everybody. It's weird. You know, like it's a weird, it's a weird, uh, everything happens. You get me? It all works out. You get me like, but it's a depressing way of looking at it. But that's because you're looking for the physical. You get me? No, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming, it's happening. But like, 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 I don't know. You realize that it's not real. You get me? It's not all expectation. Right. You know, not, you get me? I don't no, know. If you I, get, I, no, no, look, when you say, yeah, so like, when it's say, not. Not when you, you think, look, 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 look. It's like happens to anything else. You get me? Like, and I, I feel like you know. Like, I don't know. You know, like, oh, like. No, look. When, when yeah. you say, look. When you say, do you get me? All right. So look, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. So I say so, this so I don't sound too crazy. You get no, me? No, no, no. Look, 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 look. What it is? Got, what it is is when you say, do you get me? It's a reassurance that we are on the same plane mentally and physically. So. It's a combination of having a cluster of ideas, an extreme cluster of ideas, but not being able. It's like people like you and people like myself, because I've learned how to turn tone it down. But there was a time where I was like this. You kind of yeah. wish you had two mouths so you can explain everything. Like, look, 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 yeah. look, 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 look. <laughs> yeah. 
So it's like your mouth can't even process all the things that your brain is trying to convey at the same time. So with that being said, there is a level of reinsurance like, bro, do you get what I'm saying? Because I can't really fully say it all at one time. So are you still following me? Because I got a lot more to say. Yeah, because it's a lot, bro. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot, bro. Oh, so look, on the flip side, yo, DM me, dog. Like, most definitely shoot me your number, man. I want to holler at you on some deep shit, dog, outside of this shit. So shoot me your number, dog, so we can stay in contact. So, so G. Yeah, right, bro, I appreciate the love, dog, for real, for Most definitely, boss. I'm right. Nah, so look, it's real nigga shit. Being that awake and understanding, said Jay.